Hello lovely sewists! I'm excited to guide you through the creation of a beautiful puff sleeve dress in today's tutorial. Whether you're crafting this dress for a special occasion, or simply to embrace the joy of creating, I promise you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. The sewing pattern is waiting for you in the description below, so be sure to grab it. Let's get started on this fabulous sewing journey together. First, let's start by assembling the bodice. Sure that you haven't rotated the pieces. They should all face the same direction. Don't forget to backstitch at the start and end of your stitches. Trim any excess threads. Stitch the front pieces together. Pay attention to the notches as you pin the two pieces. Continue by sewing the two back pieces together. Then align the front and back pieces with the right sides facing each other. Pin and sew both sides. Press all seams flat and press the seam allowances open. Ironing the seams is important for achieving a beautiful final result.
Next, mark a 1 cm wide curve on the top of the front body's part, on both the right and left sides. These lines will intersect at a point, indicating where the sewing will commence in the following steps. Place these two pieces right sides together, ensuring precise seam alignment when pinning. Begin sewing exactly from the marked point. In the other side, being careful to sew only these two layers and not attach the other part. Cut into the seam allowance on the curved parts to avoid wrinkling. Press all seams flat and press the seam allowances open. Stitch the front and back shoulder parts with the right sides facing together. Iron these seams too. Repeat all the steps up to this point with the lining. Now align the bodies and lining with their right sides together.
pin and sew, ensuring precise seam alignment. Fold the seam allowance towards the lining. Stitch one 5mm away from the seam line on the lining, making sure the seam allowances are under the lining throughout. Finish the seam on both sides a few centimeters before you reach the center front. Press the neckline, ensuring the lining is not visible outside. Overlock it or sew it with a zigzag stitch on the side edges of the sleeves. Sew the sleeve sides with the right sides together. Press all seams flat and press the seam allowances open. Find the double mark on the sleeve. This mark will be on the back half, so you will easily know which is the right and which is the left sleeve. Pin the sleeves in place with the right sides together. Pay attention to the notches as you pin the two pieces. Sew together the three layers, the sleeves, the bodies, and the lining. Then we close the seam allowances. I sewed with overlock, but zigzag stitch or the bias tape is also a good finishing. Feel free to use whichever technique you prefer.
pin and sew the waistline of the bodies and the waist of the skirt with the right sides together. Make sure that the seams of the bodice and lining are exactly on each other. We also finish these three seam allowances with the chosen technique. Overlock it or sew it with a zigzag stitch on the edges of the center back. Pin one side of the zipper in the center back. Open the zipper and sew it with an invisible zipper foot. Zip up and pin the other side. Close the section under the zipper. We start a little higher than where the zipper ends and a few millimeters inside. When you have reached the bottom of the zipper, continue sewing with a one centimeter seam allowance.
All that's left is to sew the hem. The easiest way is to overlock first and then fold to the wrong side. As a last step, we iron all seams that have not been ironed yet. After ironing, the dress is completely ready. Remember, sewing is not just about creating clothes. It's about crafting stories, expressing yourself, and finding joy in the process. Share your finished creations with the hashtag Bella Dress Pattern on Instagram, and feel free to ask any questions. Thank you for joining to me on this sewing adventure. Until next time, happy stitching, and may your wardrobe be filled with handmade elegance. Take care, and see you in the next tutorial.